You know, it's funny because today on the show we actually had Morgan, Steve's daughter, on and she said exactly what happens every single time. She went to one store, she found the gown, then she searched all over looking at other gowns in different stores and her circled back around to the first store and got the first gown that she found. It happens every time. So don't be surprised if that happens to you. A few tips for you to save money. Number one, hire a wedding planner. They can negotiate your, your contracts for you and bring the prices way down. They will easily pay for their own bill, but they can also save you money on top of that too. It's just a good deal all the way around. When you're doing floral and decor, make sure and do things that you can use for the entire evening. Don't spend a fortune on one component that only lasts for an hour and then you struggle to pay for other things. You know, use things that can be used all night and reuse, reuse, reuse. If you have pew decorations, move them and put them on the cocktail tables. Make sure that you use everything to the maximum. And number three, make sure that you, you look out for hidden costs. You know, framing is extra. Just because you bought your photography doesn't mean that matting and framing is included. It is extra. Make sure that you pay attention on the catering contract. There's 22 to 23 percent service charge and gratuity and tax on top of that. So for every dollar you spend in catering, there could be another 30 to 40 cents added on top of it. That comes to a lot of money when you're considering 100 or 200 guests. Come see me, DonnieBrown.com. That's D-O-N-N-I-E Brown.com.